Hey there, Brett with Solarola. The tractor is evolving. For those of you who have not seen this tractor, it is an electric tractor. So it's a 1952 Massey Harris 33, and we pulled the gas motor and we have a Warp 9 in it. So plenty of power, probably twice as much power at 72 volts as the original motor had. Um, really nice, runs, its hydro runs the hydraulic pump, which gives me the ability to move my bucket up and down and, and uh, wrist it a little bit to move logs around, all kinds of cool stuff. Now we're gonna be using it to move snow. So we have a snow blower attachment, which also has an electric motor. We'll be powering that. First, we'll probably just be pushing a blade. I grew up in northern Minnesota in the hay fields. We made hay every year and we used this tractor. This was back in the 70s. Uh, which dates me a little bit, but um, I remember standing up on, on that uh, tractor beside my dad, but he always wanted the wide front. So as you can see, it's got the row crop front. It's kind of skinny, making this thing a, a three-wheeler essentially, which when you're picking stuff up, if it's not perfectly um, balanced, gets really scary. It can um, tip forward on you, and so it limits kind of the possibilities of what you can do with the rig. Next, the wide front will go on, and the cherry on top will be the solar panel so that this tractor fulfills the dream of just sitting out in the sun and being ready for work whenever you need it. So the tractor is gonna now get the 72 volt Raptor batteries that we had in our pontoon boat. They're obviously out of the pontoon. It's five degrees today, going to be below zero tomorrow and the next day. So we're going to need to plow and we're going to need to use these batteries um, in the tractor. So we're going to put one up here, which will take us from 48 volts. We just pulled the 48 volt battery out and we're going to go up to 72 volts. So that gives us a little bit more power. It also gives me more RPM of the motor. Um, which runs my hydraulic pump. So now my hydraulics is gonna be a lot more powerful because I'm gonna be able to really spin that hydraulic pump. Hey there, we're gonna be talking about controllers from Alltrax. So I've used a lot of different um, DC motor controllers for series wound motors. And I must say that these Alltrax controllers are pretty much bulletproof. Here you can see an older version of the Alltrax controller, the SPM, which is series permanent magnet. And this controller I have used on so many different vehicles. Now notice the um, fact that this is an open controller, right? So it has a fan, it exits the air out the other side to keep itself cool. So I'm gonna use this in this tractor with a big battery Raptor 72 volt, which will be plenty of power, more power than this tractor originally had. But take a look, for example, at the newer 72 volt controller, completely sealed. You don't have to worry about getting water in there. You don't have to worry about getting snow in there. It is beautiful, completely sealed. And it'll have the same reliability that all of the all track stuff has. Um, good company, good people there. They don't call it big battery for nothing. Okay, so there it is, the big battery 72 volt Raptor. So pretty stoked. I'm excited to have, you know, like a really nice gauge up front that's waterproof, that shows me the amps I'm drawn, shows me the voltage. So the next thing to do is just wire it up. Also, you'll notice, take a good look at the tractor right now. When I put the shrouding on, you will not see the battery. So that gives us a chance to maintain the look of the 52 Massey Harris and You'll notice how that doesn't really fit with the 1952 technology. Um, so we're hoping to kind of maintain this cool looking old tractor while giving it the performance that I want and need.
If you're new to our channel, check out our other solar electric build videos and adventures. Subscribe on YouTube, follow us on all social media platforms, and join our Patreon community.